Are you all right, Jean? I ain't got no shoes. You haven't got any shoes on. <laughs> she is a country girl. Four thousand dollars will make her a very happy country girl. Hundred people answered. What is the most dangerous thing you've ever done in your life? Bill, I don't know if you know you're supposed to try to beat her. Skydive. <laughs> Let me see skydiving. Bullseye! Who needs shoes? There you go, back with your team. $12,000 for the Opry women. Come on, Connie. Bots Carl Willie. Hey, I've got to, I've got to do something. Oh, uh, let me, let me, before you do it, you can do whatever you want. We're going to do this for $5,000. I hate to stop the momentum, but there's a quiet moment, and I've had people asking, would you do me a few little sounds of a train? It'd mean a lot to me. That is the sound of $5,000 going in his boxcar away from the bank. That's what he said. Here it is. That's the sound of the girls just running right across them guys. Name it? your favorite place for picnics. For five grand, Connie. A park. A park. Do you add 5000 more? Yeah. Okay. And now Opry women have built a $17,000 bank for the Opry Trust Fund. Our Opry men, $8,000 for the Performers Benefit Fund. But we're coming right back. You have to win the feud. Play fast money. Stay tuned. We got an Opry Land feud coming right at you. Don't go away. You got to get the 300 points to play for that money. And Boxcar, you might as well accept your fate. We got to do it. You're strapped with the ugliest five people Since up I here. If I can't surrender, I shall fight. Looking. We ask 100 people this question. <laughs> the top five answers are on that board. Give me the most popular. Once again, I got a feeling Porter Wagner has the handle on this. I do, buddy. Tell me something a man uses as bait to catch a woman. But Jeannie had a quicker hand. Money. Is money up there? It's number two now. Hold on. Here's where you're going to learn a lesson. This is my idol. Come here. What's something a man uses as bait to catch a woman? His figure. Let me see his figure. <laughs> no, not there. You think of the steel. The women have control. And you know what? For $17,000, Skeeter, don't miss. Well, I'll tell you what. Something about a boy's car always made me crazy about him. <laughs> okay. Hard woman to impress. He's got a car. <laughs> Number one. A flashy car. Green sweep. What do you say, Jeannie? Um, maybe jewelry. Is this a clean sweep on the first question with jewelry? Yeah! We got 86 points for our for women. Are you going to take this lion down? No. Opry women, 86 points, and they're leading the Opry men with zero. Come on, Mike. Oh, you won one game, and that's pure luck, pure luck. Get it's back, over, get it's get all back. Over. If you've just tuned in, we've got a country feud going on. Feud. Mike is actually going to use his head. And be the first. Kill. Well, that's the first time you've done it since you've been playing. Ah. Here's the, top. the point value is doubled. <laughs> I'm kidding. We ask a hundred people this question. What was the first thing about good manners your parents taught you? Double value, Mike. Hold the fork right. Hold the fork right? I'm from Cincinnati. You gotta help me. Well, I didn't hold it Spell like fork a fork for Well, me. I was holding it like a corn scoop. L O R K. Fork. 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 Okay, there's people oh watching God. this in New York, too. All right. Hold the fork right. You know, that's what could have happened at the Alamo. He might have said, hold the fork, and he misunderstood him. I can't, of the fork. If my, I can't help it if my parents don't know how to teach me manners. Well, we, at Kentucky, where I was, we used our hands, our fingers, but we said, thank you for everything. They taught you to say, thank you for everything. That's number two. You think 
the manners over there for a steal. You're from about the same place in Kentucky I am. We live right We didn't close worry to, about the fork, did we? We didn't worry about forks. We just worried about food. Shut up and stop cheating over there, guys. <laughs> I wouldn't talk to you, Charlie. You're bigger than me. He ain't Jeannie, doing nothing right. What was the first thing about good manners your parents taught you? They taught me to say yes, sir, and no, sir, and yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. Yes, and no, ma'am, and sir. It's a great answer, but it didn't make our survey. That's in the South. Gene, 100 average people across this great land. What's the first thing about good manners your parents taught you? Table manners. Ta is that specific enough? What, do you, what, what about table manners? Which excuse one? Excuse yourself when you get up from the table. To excuse yourself from the table. Is it, it is there at the bottom, 62 points. The point value is doubled, Connie. Point value is doubled. What's the first thing about good manners your parents taught you? Wash your hands when you go to the bathroom. Wash your hands when you go or when you after, leave? Wait, afterwards. Oh, after, okay. <laughs> Let me see. Wash your hands after the restroom. <laughs> Two strikes and Porter's got it. Keep it. Hold on. Jeannie? I've got it. To I've got please. it. To say please. Is it up there? It's one. 136 in that bank. Skeeter, do you realize that you've got a $17,000 bank? almost doubling their bank, you want to play for it. Come on. Okay, uh, will you repeat the question? Yes. The first thing about good manners your parents taught you. Um, Three seconds. Uh, Two strikes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She said, I'm sorry. Is that Let's see there? if it's up there. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I wish it would have been. That would have been a great one. All right, one answer gives you a big steal, boxcar. First thing about manners, your par good manners your parents taught you. To respect your elders. Respect your elders. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, Chuck, go, go with that. Yes, sir. I've had a hold of four. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> ah. Couldn't you move on to a spoon or something else, man? All right, hold a fork or respect your elders? Respect your elders. If respect your elders is there, you have stolen the bank. Show me elders. <laughs> Women of the opera, keep your back. Good answer, Porter. What could it have been? The first thing about good manners that your parents teach you, what would it be? Number three? <laughs> Beat your elders. <laughs> Chew with your mouth closed. Number four? Don't interrupt. Yeah. We've got 222 to zero, boys. It's time for our final face-off, possibly. Let's go right now. I need you, baby. Come on, Charlie. It's time to redeem yourself. This game is over if the Opry women take it all the way out and you'll play for 17,000. I'm going to pick up the pace. You need this to stop them. We ask 100 people this triple-valued question. Listen to the wording. Name something really aggravating that can happen to you at the airport. Jeannie. They lose your luggage. Lose your luggage? It's their butt. You know one answer that's more popular. Something really aggravating that can happen to you at the airport when the delay of the flight when the flight is delayed is it number one bam you did it charlie we're going to pick it up now bill really aggravating at the airport oh i just flew in this morning and the whole thing was aggravating uh, <laughs> can you do it in three seconds uh, uh, you lose your ticket lose your ticket Strike one. Boxcar. Going through the security, having to wait for security. All right, while security frisks you. We're going to steal this game if you don't know, Porter. What's really aggravating that can happen at the airport? Miss your plane. You miss your plane. Good answer. Got to be there. Got to be there. Yes, it is. 258. Mike. Don't say drop your fork no <laughs> no i tell you what's aggravating is is the distance between the gates having to walk walk the between gate. the gates women if it's not there think of the steal <laughs> so for grabs you're going to play for 17 grand if you can help her connie what's really aggravating at the airport someone takes your seat takes your seat you get bumped from the flight bump from the flight bump from the, bump the, from the flight bump uh, from the flight. Flight. flight is canceled bump from the flight take your seat tell her what you think I'm going to call for silence completely. Flight canceled. If it's there, Flight this canceled. game is over.
The flight is canceled. Let me say, Gordon, you don't have to, oh, no, stay right here. You don't have to keep your head down. Charlie, you gave a good answer. Box car, if you said number five, you'd still be in the game. After you get bumped, set right down there. You go back with your team. Who's playing first? I need two players. $17,000, you're off stage. Peter Davis is right here. I'm running this show. Fast money from Opryland. We're going for a great charity after these important messages. $17,000 for the Opry Trust Fund, up for grabs. Skeeter Davis with the Opry women going for it right now with 15 seconds on that clock. Good luck, Skeeter. We ask 100 average Americans these five questions. Other than clothes, name something you never seem to have enough of in your closet. Shoes. A fruit or vegetable sold by the pound. Potato. Something that melts. Ice. Something on a fire truck. An engine. I'm going to a ladder. A kind of leg that people eat. A chicken. Turn around. That's right. Other than clothes, you never seem to have enough of in your closet, you said? Show your shoes, survey set. To 32. A fruit or vegetable sold by the pound. You said, I'll take a pound of potato, survey set. Potato, 16. It melts, you said. Ice, is it a hot answer? Survey said. Bingo, 32. On a fire truck, you said, show you. Ladder, what the survey say? 33. You eat this kind of leg, you said. Chicken. Yes, yes. Survey set. Yes. yes, 53. You go back, Skeeter. Nicely done. You're 34 away. Come on, right here, Gene. You look straight ahead. 20 seconds on the clock. 20 seconds from $17,000 for the Opry Trust Fund with 20 seconds and revealing those answers. Good luck. Right. We ask 100 people other than clothes Name something you never seem to have enough of in your closet. Chew. Try again. Pet. A fruit or vegetable sold by the pound. Gr a grape. Something that melts. Ice cream. Something in a fire truck. A hole. A kind of leg that people eat. What? Kind of leg that people eat. Chicken leg. Try again. Um, uh, a leg. All right, that's four of the five. You need 34. You didn't get to it. There never seems to be enough of in your closet. You passed. The number one answer was hangers. You never have enough of. I always got plenty. Fruit or vegetables sold by the pound. You chose a pound of grapes. What's the survey say? Seven. Oh, no. Bananas would have been number one. Something that melts. You said a great answer. Ice cream. Did 27 people say it? For 17 grand. What did the survey say? $17,000 happier. Bananas you buy by the pound. Ice melts. A hose on a fire truck. Chicken you eat by the leg. We're coming right back. Don't go away. We're at Opryland, USA. Thank you, Gene Wood, for the family feud in Opryland, USA. Thanks for watching. We love you, and we'll see you next time.